Hi everyone, I'm Bill Jardopoulos, the host of the Anfish Video Fishing Blog. Um, this video is uh, pretty important, just a, an important little uh, reminder and tip to everybody out there who's in the fishing. Man made sense, um, and what I mean by that is our, our human oils uh, that come out of our hands, uh, coffees, cigarettes, smoke, all that stuff. Be very mindful of this. Um, it's I've actually tested it with a friend of mine who smokes, and I've been trying to get him to quit that bad habit. Um, but I remind him every time we're out uh, fishing, when you are throwing your bait prior to throwing your bait into the water, uh, whether it's an artificial or live bait, uh, hooks, your line around your hooks, be very careful on what scent you have on your hands. Uh, there are a lot of articles on this, and again, there could be opinions here and there. Uh, but my rule of thumb is, if I have spilt coffee, for example, uh, on my drive up, and coffee's all over my hands, and I've used hand sanitizer, and then I go touch a hook or touch a bait, that scent now is transferred to that bait. So I'll use a very, probably the best example I could use, bug spray. Uh, you're out on the lake fishing, bugs are bad, so you use some DEET, um, you know, muscal or whatever, whatever it may be. Um, spray it on your neck, maybe spread it out a little bit, and your mind tends to wander for a few seconds. You grab your bait, you tweak it, you maybe adjust the plastic, soft plastic, and cast it out. Well, soft plastics for number one uh, will absorb other scents. So now you've added a bug spray scent to your actual bait. You'll know pretty quick uh, if you're using the same bait as your friend, for example, or someone that's with you, uh, why you're not catching. And you'll kind of scratch your head and go, okay, wait a second, we're using the same bait, uh, same color, he's catching fish, he's literally four or five feet away from me, why am I not catching anything? Backtrack your thoughts to what had happened. Did you potentially, um, before you head out the water, uh, use the public facilities and wash your hands with soap? Again, there you go, now you've got a man-made scent on your hands. A uh, very quick and easy way to get rid of this, if you've got live bait, just rub some live bait on your hands. If you've got some uh, dead live, well, not dead live bait, but dead uh, bait fish, rub that on your hands. When you're near the water, uh, just before you head out, grab some sand and some rocks, uh, very good natural minerals. Rinse your hands in the water and rub, them, rub all that sand around your hands. Uh, you'll get rid of that scent very quick. If you're on the water, it's a little tougher. Uh, you're going to think, okay, well, how do I wash my hands? I just, you know, for example, my friend, I just had a cigarette, and cigarette smoke, uh, and that nicotine smell is very, very, very predominant and very strong. So I'm going to reach in here for a second. Hopefully I don't fall into the hole. But I'm lucky to have had this, and this video came to me today. I just didn't, uh, I had it on my list, but I wasn't uh, anticipating doing it today. I've got some weeds that have come up from the uh, ice fishing holes here. Grab some weeds, whether they're floating in the lake or you've got to snag some with your bait. Grab them, grab a bundle, and rub them all over your hands. Just completely saturate your hands with those weeds. I'll guarantee you the only thing you're going to smell after, by, after doing that is weeds. Um, and that is, at least it's grounded your natural scent. Uh, you'll, you know, your hands will smell like weed, that's fine, you can touch your bait, your bait's going to be coming through the weed, so that's not a big deal at all. Um, but do not, do not leave other scents on your hands. I'm going to take a, a smell here, and I, I smell grass, all I smell is grass. Um, it's very, very easy tip here, like I said, I just try and relay this to people because when I was younger I'd make the mistake as well, like I said, you'd have a coffee or you'd put muscal or even, um, sorry, just trying to think here for a second, um, some UV protecting spray um, when you're out in the summer months for sure. Uh, there's another strong man-made scent. And you leave that on your hands and on your bait, I'll guarantee you you're not going to catch anything. That's probably the one thing I'll guarantee on my videos is you have uh, a really funky smell of any kind that's again soaps and oils and hand creams that kind of stuff you won't catch anything if it's on your bait I can almost guarantee you people think that you'll drag it through the water um, you know that smell will go away uh, most of us who have had 
you know, suntan lotion or anything on us uh, or bug spray, no, it's a very harsh smell. Uh, that's not going to come off, especially if you're using soft plastics, they will absorb that and fish are not going to go anywhere near your bait. So, just again a reminder here, I'm going to go back to my ice fishing. Thanks for tuning in guys, see you next time.